Uh, hello everyone, my name is Wonbae Kim, and I'm a PhD, PhD student in computer science at UNIST. And I'll present our paper, ListDB, Union of Right Ahead Logs and, and Persistent Skim List for Incremental Checkpointing on Persistent Memory. In the past few years, various byte addressable persistent indexing structures have been developed. And some of the persistent indexes store all indexing elements in persistent memory. But PM-only indexes are slower than DRAM indexes, and they frequently call memory fence and cache time flush for crash consistency. To avoid this overhead, DRAM plus PM hybrid indexes store only leaf nodes in persistent memory, and most of the indexing elements in DRAM. The volatile indexing elements can be reconstructed, but the recovery cost is very high. To reduce the recovery time, the DRAM index can be checkpointed periodically. However, this causes very high tail latency because write operations are blocked during a checkpointing. A better approach is asynchronous incremental checkpointing. Log structured merge tree buffers writes in a small DRAM index called mem table. When a mem table gets full, an LSM tree checkpoints the current mem table by flushing it into the persistent storage. Then the LSM tree consolidates checkpoint data over time by background compaction. However, LSM trees may block write queries as in synchronous checkpointing if the workload is write intensive. If the flush is not fast enough, DRAM usage will be high. And most LSM tree based key value stores block write queries when DRAM usage is too high. And this is called the write stop problem. Even with fast persistent memory, background flush is sl still slower than foreground write. And write stalls occur as a result. Although persistent memory is faster than disk, simply replacing disk with persistent memory does not solve the write stall problem. There are three challenges to avoid write stall in LSM tree. First, write latency gap between DRAM and persistent memory. Second, LSM tree has write amplification problem. That is, the same key values are repeatedly written through flush and compaction. Third, persistent memory is more sensitive to NUMA effects than DRAM. To address these challenges and solve the write stop problem, we designed ListDB with three novel designs. The first is index unified logging, which converts log entries to skimless elements for faster flush. The second is zipper compaction, which performs in-place merge sort to reduce the write amplification. The third is NUMA-aware braided skimless, which reduces remote NUMA accesses for skimless traversal. Our results show that ListDB resolved the write star problem and shows 25 times higher write throughput than Intel's PMM RocksDB. Now let me present the high-level architecture of ListDB. When a client writes a key value, it appends a log entry and inserts the key value into a mem table. The second level is index unified logs. With index unified logging, background workers transform log entries into level 0 skimless elements, which we call level 0 PM table. Zipper compaction merge sorts level 0 PM tables to the level 1 PM table in place. All PM tables use NUMA or braided skim list. Converting a log entry into a skim list element is straightforward because the only difference between a log entry and a skim list element is the order of keys. To union wall and persistent skim list, we pre allocate skim list pointer space in log entries. When a mem table is flushed, only the pointers are written to the log entries then the log entries become a skill list. We do not persist the pointers when flushing a mem table because the elements of the level 0 PM table are also log entries, and the key order can be recovered. The pointers are persisted when merging level 0 and level 1 PM tables. With this approach, a mem table can be flushed before the next mem table becomes full. Let me show what the log entries look like in a physical PM layout when a mem table is flushed. 
This figure shows the logical view of index unified logs. And this bottom figure shows the physical PM layout. And suppose we insert key 8, 2, and 5. First, we write the log entry for key 8 on persistent memory, and then insert it into a mem table. In the same way, we insert key 2, and then key 5. When this mem table is flushed, mem table pointers are converted to log entry offsets and written to the pointer space of log, en log entries. Then the log entries now become a scheme list, which is a level 0 PM table. And subsequent queries can navigate through this level 0 PM table with these pointers. Since these pointers are not persisted yet, these entries will, will be treated as log entries when the system crashes. A background checkpointing thread may persist all the pointers in batches and then moves the boundary of wall. And these entries are recovered instantly when the system crashes. The second design of ListDB is zipper compaction. Zipper compaction is an in-place merge sort for two PM tables. It reduces write amplification by updating and persisting only pointers. While zipper compaction is making changes to two PM tables in place, it does not block concurrent reads because it preserves the schemeless invariant at every single step. The schemeless invariant is that the list at each upper layer is a sorted sublist of the bottom layer. And as long as the invariant is preserved, correct search results are guaranteed. For this, zipper compaction works in two phases, and I'll explain the algorithm with an example in the next slide. The first phase is the scan phase. In the scan phase, a compaction thread traverses L0 PM, PM table and decides where to insert each L0 element in the L1. And instead of updating pointers immediately, it stores the pointer update on a stack. In the next merge phase, the compaction thread pops the stack and applies the pointer updates. By merging from tail to head and from bottom to top, the invariant is preserved at every single step of the merge phase. For each update item stored in the stack, two pointers need to be updated. For update item C0 to E, when the first pointer update is applied, the tails of the two PM tables are shared. At this point, the upper layers are still sublets of the bottom layer, so the schemeless invariant is still preserved. And the second pointer update is applied. Again, the schemeless invariant is still preserved. Although element E appears in both L0 and L1, correct search is guaranteed for concurrent reads because we don't violate the schemeless invariant. Then the rest of the pointer updates are applied in order. And after the last update item is popped and applied, the compaction is done. Our paper has a formal proof that shows concurrent read queries returns correct search results while two scheme lists, lists are being merged. Sorry. The last design of ListDB is NUMA aware braided scheme list. NUMA aware braided scheme list is also designed based on the invariant of scheme list. This is an example of a conventional NUMA oblivious scheme list. Here, the elements are created by clients on random NUMA nodes. For the same data set, the NUMA aware braided scheme list looks like this. In NUMA aware braided scheme list, elements in upper layers point to elements in the same NUMA node. Since all elements are connected at the bottom layer, the correct search results are guaranteed. Let me show how NUMA aware braided scheme list reduces NUMA effect. Using the conventional scheme list, searching seven will access remote X elements three times. With NUMA aware braided scheme list, the same query will access remote elements only once because remote accesses are allowed at only at the bottom layer. 
In general, for a machine with n NUMA nodes, NUMA or error braided scheme list can reduce remote memory accesses by a factor of n. We evaluate ListDB on our four NUMA node machine with two terabyte persistent memory. For benchmark tools, we use YCSV and Facebook benchmark. We evaluate the effectiveness of our three noble designs and the recovery performance of ListDB. Then finally, we compare ListDB with Intel's PMM RocksDB. In this experiment, we ran YCSB load A with standard write-ahead logging and index unified logging. With standard wall, flush is slower than put, so write stalls occur as a result. On the other hand, with index unified logging, flush throughput is much higher than put throughput, so write stalls never occur. And next, we evaluate index unified logging with other YCSB workloads. We ran load A, workload A, and workload C. Index unified logging outperforms standard wall for write intensive workload because it successfully avoids write stalls. The result of workload C shows that index unified logging does not hurt read performance. Next, we evaluate the effectiveness of each of ListDB's three noble designs. As a baseline, first we load 500 million records with standard wall. If we enable NUMA aware braided scheme list, flush and compaction become faster, so foreground write become faster. If we additionally enable zipper compaction, the compaction throughput is increased. Finally, if we enable all designs together, we can avoid write stalls and therefore foreground write throughput is significantly increased. Next, we evaluate the recovery performance of ListTV's asynchronous incre incremental checkpointing and a periodic synchronous checkpointing. This, this orange bar shows the synchronous checkpointing overhead for 100 million records. Write operations will be blocked for at least 90 seconds for every checkpointing interval. And this blocking time will be increased as the index size increased. Increasing the interval size can reduce the average checkpointing overhead. However, it will make recovery time longer. On the other hand, ListDB's asynchronous checkpointing incurs no overhead. Also, zipper compaction checkpoints new update very quickly, so when, when write queries arrive less than 3 millions per second, the system can be recovered almost instantly. Finally, we compare ListDB with RocksDB that Intel developed for persistent memory. In Facebook benchmark, query arrival rate follows a sign distribution. But PMM RocksDB shows a saturated throughput due to write amplification. The peak throughput of ListDB is higher than the query arrival rate of this workload. So the throughput is similar to the query arrival rate. As a result, ListDB shows 25 times higher write throughput than PMM RocksDB. For more experiments, please read our paper. In conclusion, ListDB avoids write stalls by leveraging the characteristics of persistent memory. With byte addressability and high performance of persistent memory, ListDB can avoid data copies by restructuring data in place and reduce write amplification. Also, our NUMA Aurel braided scheme list reduces NUMA effects effectively. As a result, ListDB outperforms state-of-the-art PM-based key value stores in terms of write throughput. Our code is available on GitHub. Thank you.